Well, all day today, Fox 2 is taking an in-depth look at COVID and the classroom. For parents who choose to send their children back to school, the classroom will not be a return to normal. And our Chris Hayes joins us live after talking with parents and educators about how they're facing new challenges. Chris. Stand by. School buses will be a big test with not only possible assigned seating, but also instructions for students to start sitting on the back of the bus first. Students are going to be challenged with changes at every corner. Dylan Collier is ready for the fifth grade in the Parkway School District. I want to go back to school because I will get to meet new kids. His grandmother, Lorraine Televast, fears it's not that simple. I have so many mixed emotions. Dylan and his brother Tyler, who's going into the fourth grade, both get extra help through the special school district. Lorraine says her younger grandson was especially impacted by not being inside a classroom. He missed out on a lot. He fell, definitely fell behind again. She says her grandkids are good at wearing their masks inside, but they'll need more than one each day. My nine-year-old has a lot of allergies and they've been skyrocketing this year. So he says it does a lot of coughing and sneezing and blowing his nose. Well, you have to take your mask off to blow your nose. The Griffin children in the Hazelwood School District will learn at home this year. Mom says it will be more difficult, but safer. However, 15 year old India Griffin is asking mom to consider an exception for her. This year I was supposed to be cheer captain. And with me trying to be cheer captain, it's hard to like get everybody together and I don't know if we're gonna have any games. It's basically a discussion, but then she understands my point. Mom points out that returning to the classroom won't be the same anyway, especially with extracurricular activities. Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education guidelines released July 9th is full of examples about staying apart and keeping distance. One example says students should stay with the same group of students and adults throughout the day, if classes must rotate, schools should consider rotating teachers rather than moving groups of students throughout the school building. Schools want to avoid positive tests so they can stay open. The thing that we all have to remember is it's going to look so different. Deidre Townsend is a social worker in the Webster Grove School District. She also has two children in elementary school. What's the first thing they're going to want to do when they see their friends? Give them a big hug. And so do we let that happen? Were we supposed to stop that from happening? And I think those little things, when you talk about social emotional development, that's natural social emotional, that's natural. All new on Fox 2 News at 6, you're going to hear from college athletes who are trying to stay sharp and not miss out on their big break during this pandemic. And that's just the beginning of our coverage on COVID and the classroom all night tonight on Fox 2. Live in Chesterfield, Chris Hayes, Fox 2 News.